forward and took advantage of the opportunity. Next question. Raise a hand. Bob again. This is for, for KJ and Dom. What do you think of the freshman winners? Rashad, Yatai, Washington catches his first pass for touchdown. You know, Harris has to play on the line when Crawford goes down. What do you guys think of the freshman? Uh, I'm extremely proud of those guys. I mean, just from the, uh, Imer Imarion just stepping up uh, the O line. That's such a veteran group. I mean, he just fit right in with those guys, and they uh, just eager to help him learn and uh, coach him throughout uh, throughout the game. And for tires, I mean, I'm extremely proud of all the freshmen. I mean, those guys just stepped up. They took advantage of the opportunity when they were presented. So, shouts out to those guys. And they just, I mean, that we've been seeing, we've been knowing, they just never got the shot. And now that that time came, they was able to perform. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I can't speak too highly of E, man. He he stood up in a situation where it was very difficult. You know, I mean, he's been practicing right guard, but he's a young guy at a championship game now, and a little bull championship game to step up and start. You know, and he did he did such a fantastic job out there. He was calm, cool. He was collected. He's asking questions. He's making the calls before we're even getting up there. Like it was a veteran up there, you know. And E's future so bright. And I mean, like KJ said, I said it earlier this week, man. I was ready for those questions. They're, the whole team was ready for those questions. All those young guys, guys who haven't played much, to go out there, show up, and have a heck of a game. I got two questions. Dwight, how meaningful was this win for you guys? Can you talk about maybe the importance of the, the turnovers you got in the first half that led to points, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it was pretty good from us, like from the defensive side. We came out there with energy. Um, turnovers very fast in the um, first half. It got us out to a big lead, you know? Um, it got us points on the board. People playing fast, moving around, felt good. And the importance of winning the game, basically. Um, that's what we needed. Um, we knew um, coming into this game, they needed us to lock down the house side. Me and Quincy was definitely. And um, for God, everything else, and I feel like it helped us big time. Chris, can you maybe talk about the, you know, trying to contain Daniels, what that was like? And then, you know, the two-point conversion stop you thought you had, they, they got to run again. Uh, we all know that Daniel's a great player. Uh, he, I'm, he, much respect to him, you know. But uh, after that stop and we got the flag and things like that, I just told the defense we got to keep composed, we got to keep playing, and that's what they did. I'm extremely proud of them, especially guys like Nudie, uh, Dwight, Jordan Crook, and players like that. You know, they stepped up big time when we needed them to. And I just, I just can't, I can't express enough how much I'm, how proud I am. KJ, I guess, could you just maybe analyze your game tonight and Dalton and Rashad, what did y'all make of it? Does KJ, I guess, account for four scores? Uh, I just feel like uh, I just want to be able to put my teammates in the best position to win. So, I mean, when they're sacrificing my body, anything, I just want to be, make sure that we got the victory for them and just be able to just uh, be able to tell a story. I mean, just knowing that we played in Liberty Bowl and came out victorious. So, just adding it to my resume, just being able to tell a story. So, I just want to be able to put my teammates and my team I'm in the best position to win. Yeah, uh, you know, once five went down, I had to step up. That's what I did. Yeah, uh, KJ played a heck of a game tonight, and I told him after the game he was he he played he played he played his butt off. And the last two years have been three years really been so much fun playing with him. He's got a confidence and swagger to him, and I think he showed it out there today. You know, as one play we were running the overtime. We were running one of our GT counters, and I felt him just pushing me in the back. And I was like, oh, I got to get on my horse here. And right away, he just – I knew if I could get, get that block, he'd be scoring it. So, you know, KJ is an awesome leader out there. He's always calm, you know. He's always cool and collected. And, you know, most importantly, you know, he he, he trusts us. You know, that's that's a big thing between the line and our quarterback. And I wish we could have cleaned up some protections a little better, especially me personally. But, man, we ran that ball. Just for anybody who wants to answer on this, it just seems like things were kind of unraveling there on the end, and you guys stayed resilient with the the fumble. That, to be honest, wasn't a fumble. The targeting thing at the end, um, the onside kick. It just felt like one thing after another was going against you guys. How did you guys battle back and win the game? I mean, it just goes to show you that I mean, just being in a different situation, adverse situation, and then for us just to come together as a whole team and just play the next play, play the next play. Don't worry about the uh, last play. Just keep playing the next play and keep moving forward and encouraging each other. I mean, that just that will help us win tonight, just being able to encourage each other and be more vocal. Leaders stepping up in uh, big-time uh, situations. And on the defensive side, just hearing guys talk and come together and making sure they just bring the young guys along and make sure everything is 
uh, sound, mentally sound, physically sound on the defense side of the ball. So it was just a whole team, uh, team effort, and I'm just proud of everybody. Yeah. Bob's got the next, next question. Yeah. Then we'll come back to you. Just for KJ first, the touchdown pass to Washington, I think they said on the radio, you guys put that in a couple weeks ago, got from the 49ers. Could you describe that play? Uh, my first time actually seeing it in the meeting room, I was – I was pretty thrilled that it actually worked. And then we did it in uh, practice and the scout team wasn't biting on it. So it was like, <laughs> do we need to run it or not? Because I mean, the scout team wasn't biting on it too hard. So I mean, because Brad called it a perfect time, just being able to just knowing the situation, knowing when to call it. And I'm happy it ended up working out. And I'm proud of Tyrus for catching the ball and scoring his first touchdown. And uh, what do you think of Rashad? I mean, blocking for him because obviously Rockets down. You're already down a bunch of other guys. What you think of what he did for y'all? Yeah, you know, um, Dub stepped up in a big way. You know, I hate to use that phrase because he's been he's been practicing really hard. He's been doing, and even when he's in the game, he he runs really hard. So I, I hate to use the phrase the phrase step up, but he did an excellent job tonight. He trusted us. He was patient on his cuts. You know, he pressed them he pressed some situations so we could get to blocks and make it better for us. He took care of us the way we needed to take care of him too. And you know, he was out there playing like a veteran, and the future is very bright for him. <clears throat> For both defensive guys, what were the conversations like with y'all's group at the end of regulation going into overtime? Uh, it was really like we we wanted more. Like they were saying, we had to go out there and fulfill big shoes. You know, and when, when it got to the end of regulation, we just all came together and was like, you know, we the better team. We just got to fight. And that's what we went out there and did. We most definitely leaned on each other. Um, as a team, we got better from each um, each play, from each play, heading to the overtime. We got better. All I can say. Last question here in the front row. Dalton, has the finality set in with you that this was your last game? And what did it mean to not just go out with a win, but the fact that you broke the, the school record for rushing yards in the ball game? Well, I didn't know we broke the record, but that's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it, it really means a lot. Um, it was a tumultuous six years, but going out as Liberty Bowl champs, going out the right way, you know, we finished winning record seven and six, you know, it means something. And the future for this team's bright. We get these young guys to step into the culture like they've been doing. Coach Pitt's got the coaching staff here to do this. And I, I, I can't wait for the future of this program. And I'm just, I'm happy. I'm happy I finished my days as a hog and I'm even more happy I finished, finished out just the way I came to play the bowl game, finish it out the right way. Guys, congratulations. Thank you. You'll step down. We're going to have a presentation.